Hi and welcome to the Airsoft Post How-To on how to treat wood for your airsoft gun. The technique we're going to be using today, I give full credit to Guinness from the Arnie's Airsoft Forums. This is his technique. I'm just going to be demonstrating it on video today. The first thing we're going to go through is what you're going to need for this project. You're going to need a paper towel or shop rag, paper plates, preferably pink with a floral pattern, boiled linseed oil, a screwdriver, or some other item in which you can, with, which you can make uh, gouges in wood with. You're going to need two foam paint brushes. I like to have a smaller one and a larger one. You're going to need uh, acrylic latex paint. Black is the most important color, but it's also good to have some brown on hand just so you can mix them. You're going to need two sanding blocks, one fine grain and one medium grain. Uh, so now let's take a look at the gun we're going to be working on today. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is remove all the wood parts from the gun. This is all we're focused on. Right now we're working with the AK-74 yes, uh, SU by CYMA. So we've just removed the wooden hand guards. We've separated them from the gun. We're not going to need the AEG itself at this point. We're just going to be working with the wood grips. Uh, if this were a rifle, it could be more complicated, but the important part here is just get as much of the wood off the gun and away from the metal as you can. All right, so now we've got the wood off the gun. We're going to start sanding off the original AEG finish. That's why we have our sanding blocks. You can use sandpaper, but I prefer sanding blocks because they offer just a little bit better grip to get into sort of nooks and crannies in the gun, such as this handhold here. So basically, you don't want to go too deep, but you're basically just going to start sanding away the original AEG finish. A uh, basic technique is to just go sort of shallow, go sort of easy in one patch, then take like a paper towel, wipe it off, see where you're at. You don't want to go too deep because then it'll be uneven, but you do want to get most of this original uh, Chinese lacquer finish off of here. So just keep doing that until you've got bare wood underneath on all parts of the grips. Alright, now we've got our parts sanded here. You can see that they're much lighter in color. Uh, you know, sort of depending on the wood, it may look slightly different, but this is kind of what we're looking for here, just getting all that finish off. Uh, you can see on the inside how it still retains the finish. It looks very different. So now, because this is a weathering guide, as, 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 uh, in addition to being sort of a treatment guide, we're going to beat these grips up a little bit. And how we're going to do that is we're just going to take a screwdriver and we're just going to sort of scuff them up. Just do whatever you want, you know, whatever you got to do, uh, whatever feels right to you. Just, you know, imagine that it's sort of getting beaten up. Field use, this could easily happen to you on the field, but what we're doing now is we're just recreating that a little bit in the home. And so we're just going to nick these up a little bit. We'll be right back. All right, now that we've got all the burrs off of our grips, we're going to start painting them. The idea behind the paint here is it's going to give them sort of a darker, uh, more war-worn finish here. And it's also just going to give them a little bit of depth of color in the wood grain. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of black, uh, black paint here, the paint we talked about earlier, and we're just going to lay that right down. And then we're going to take a little bit of brown paint too. Not too much, just a little bit there. Not much in comparison to the black. And then we're going to take a little bit of water. We're actually going to water this down just a tiny bit. The more water you use, the lighter it's going to be. So we're just going to put a little bit of water right on top there. All right. And then, basically, we're just going to start mixing it up here on our paper plate. And then, once we've got... See, now this is almost black, but it's got a little bit of that brown. And it's a little bit runny because of the water. And then, basically, you're just going to start taking your grips. And you're just going to start laying this down. You're going to just streak it on. And it's, what it's going to do is it's going to get into the wood grain, and it's going to set there a little bit, and that's going to give you a darker, richer finish than you had before, which is ultimately going to cause your gun to look more war-worn, a little bit of a veteran look. It's going to look very nice. And you don't want to put on too much paint here, because what you're eventually going to do is actually wiping most of this paint off. But right now, as you can see, this paint is sort of setting into the grain. The, the wood is actually drinking up the paint in a way. So basically, after we're done with this, we're just going to start wiping it off with a paper towel. So you just grab a paper towel from over here, and you just wipe. You wipe it off. And you know it, it's wiping here, but as you can see, the wood is getting darker. It's starting to look a little bit more like it's finished. So we're just going to keep doing that till we get the desired tone we want, and then we're going to come back. We're going to start throwing down some oils. All right, so our grips have dried off from the paint. We gave them about half an hour to an hour. Uh, there's not much paint on here, so it's really not going to take that much time. As you can see, they have a sort of nice dark finish, and also the paint's going to get in those little crevices we made, and it's really going to help bring out the scratches we made in the gum. So now the final step here is going to be to apply linseed oil. Linseed oil is a natural uh, wood sealant and finish made from flax seeds. 
it's important that you buy boiled linseed oil. Raw linseed oil, or just regular linseed oil, is going to dry very slowly in comparison to boiled linseed oil. The advantage of boiled linseed oil is that it's just going to dry much more quickly. So the way we're going to use this is we're just going to take our linseed oil here. You usually have to open it with a screwdriver. And we're going to take some paper towels. And we're just going to fold the paper towel. And you're going to get some linseed oil on the paper towel. And you're just going to sort of rub it into the, uh, the wood. Sort of massage it in there. And you're just going to apply this and rub it in. Um, and it's going to act like a wood sealant and sort of bring everything together on our grips. And so just apply a reasonable amount, not too much, or your grip might end up sticky. Rub it in. Put out your grips for about 10 to 20 minutes, uh, depending on how much uh, linseed oil you want soaked up. Then you're just going to take a cloth, wipe it off, get off the excess, and then we'll come back and see how that looks. All right, here we have the finished product. Uh, after letting the linseed oil soak in for about 15 minutes, uh, we just took a paper towel, gave it a quick wipe down to remove any excess sort of around the edges here on the insides. If you leave it too long, you get a little sticky. So at the end here, uh, you can see that this is actually a fairly light finish, uh, a little bit lighter than maybe the finish that was here before. I personally like that, but if you wanted a darker finish, you could use more black paint, less brown paint, less water in your paint, or apply the paint in more coats and sort of leave it on for longer. We only put on about two coats of paint. Uh, the basic idea here is that you can sort of customize this to make it the way you want it. And this is just one of many ways to sort of give your gun a little bit of a personal, rugged, individualized look. Uh, so this has been an Airsoft Post how-to video. Once again, thanks a lot to Guinness from the Arnie's Airsoft Forums for the inspiration for this fantastic technique. Thanks for watching.